Donald Trump has claimed he's being persecuted after he pled not guilty to conspiring to overturn the 2020 election. The former U.S. president, 77, was indicted for a record third time on Tuesday 01. 8.23 and on Thursday, at Reagan National Airport, following his face-off with Magistrate Judge Moxler Upatyoya in Washington, who he stepped down during his arraignment before declaring his innocence, he gave a short speech in which he blasted the filth and decay of Washington D. C. He said at the airport, where he grasped a huge black umbrella brandished with his surname, this is a very sad day for America, and he was also very sad driving through Washington D. C. And seeing the filth and the decay and all of the broken buildings and walls and the graffiti. This is not the place that I left. When you look at what's happening, this is a persecution of a political opponent. This was never supposed to happen in America. This is the persecution of the person that's leading by very, very substantial numbers in the Republican primary and leading Biden by a lot. So if you can't beat him, you persecute them or you prosecute him. We can't let this happen in America. Trump earlier faced the federal judge as she read out the four charges against him related to the January 6 Capitol riot and his plot to stay in power, which carry a combined maximum sentence of 55 years in prison, if he's found guilty. She set the next hearing for August 28, while Trump's lawyer outside court said the case was a bit to ruin his 2024 campaign. When asked to state his age in court, Trump dressed in a navy blue suit and red tie, fumbled his words and replied, 77. 77. Judge Upotyoya asked if he had taken any medications or anything that would make him unable to respond, and he insisted, no, I have not. The former apprentice judge was flanked at a table on other side by his attorneys. John Laurel and Todd Blanche, and he stood up, stared down the judge and entered his not guilty plea. Trump will be released on the condition that he does not communicate with witnesses in the case. The scandal plague former leader is now facing four counts in connection to his involvement in the events of January 6, 2021, including conspiracy to defraud the American government and obstruct the electoral count for trying to overturn the 2020 election. A 45-page indictment states the former apprentice judge was determined to remain in power despite having lost his leadership. The sealed indictment was delivered to a Washington D. C. based judge on Tuesday containing the four felony counts against the former president. The indictment papers also references six unnamed and unindicted co-conspirators. It says, the defendant and co-conspirators used knowingly false claims of election fraud to get state legislators and election officials to subvert the legitimate election results and change electoral votes for the defendant's opponent, Joseph R. Biden, Jr., to electoral votes for the defendant. Trump railed against the news of his third indictment in six months on his Truth Social platform, branding the investigating U.S. attorney in the case Jack Smith deranged. Trump has denied his involvement in the events of January 6 that saw his supporters storm the Capitol building in Washington, D.C., leaving five people dead and others injured. Trump is also currently facing federal charges in Florida, stemming from his mishandling of classified docs after he left office. He made history in April when he became the first U.S. president to be charged with a crime after leaving office. When the Manhattan District Attorney's Office indicted him on charges related to hush money payments he made prior to the 2016 election.